Sinusoids are very important in audio because sinusoids are fundamental in physics. Many systems that um, oscillate or resonate, they have this quasi sinusoidal motion. Uh, sin uh, sine waves or sinusoids, they are eigenfunctions of linear systems and we can see uh, sine waves as the building blocks of more complex audio signals. The first method we are going to use to generate a sine wave in our processor will be the lookup table. So a lookup table is a method that's a very simple way to generate a sine wave. It's fast and somehow it's flexible to implement and the values can be accurate because we are going to define our uh, table with the values of a sine wave beforehand. Well, here we have an example on how to generate the values, so remember that we're dealing with um, embedded audio processing, so we always need to consider the limitations of our system in terms of memory or in terms of processing time, especially for um, real-time applications. So a lookup table is a table that is, stays in memory, so it's not uh, happening in runtime, but we are just accessing values from this table and assigning to an output of our system. So it's a very fast, we don't have any processing, but it consumes memory because we need to uh, store these values into memory. And if we want uh, many different sine waves, we will need many different tables. Of course, it's possible to get some multiples of um, uh, sine waves using just one table, we will see this in an example, and we can also use optimization considering the symmetry of uh, the sine wave. But here is just an example just to generate this table, so I'm using NumPy to deal uh, with uh, arrays and mathematics, matplotlib, pyplot to plot, and math is just to have this, uh, actually I'm not using, I'm using the sign from uh, NumPy, so we actually don't need uh, this uh, math. So in this example we are going to use a sampling frequency of 48 kilohertz. We want to generate a sine wave of 500 hertz and the amplitude will be 1000. In this example here we need to remember that we are using a 16-bit fixed point uh, processor, an audio codec. That means that we have values from minus 2 to the power of 15, so it's approximately 32,000 uh, and um, 700, something like this. And uh, the maximum value is 2 to the power of 15, so we are limited to this range. So uh, we need to consider when we use this amplitude here. Here we are, we are defining our um, sample, so it goes from 0 to 96. So the idea is that we will generate a full cycle of the sine wave and we'll store this in a table. So this is what we are doing here. Here we're just presenting this table nicely so we can copy and paste here. And here we have our sine wave from 0 to 1000 and we have 96 values that define the cycle for 500 Hertz when using a sampling frequency of 48 kilohertz. So now we have this this is not going to be done in runtime. We will calculate this table before, then we will copy and have this in memory. So here I'm defining a table sign 500 hertz, so sampling frequency of 40 kilohertz, and these are the values. Then I'm defining a table length and I'm defining an index so I can go through all the elements of this table, starting at zero until the end. When it gets to the end, it just goes back to the beginning again, so it's kind of a circular a buffer. So we are doing this with this part here, using this modulus table length, so our index is um, equal to the previous value plus one, So, and then when it gets to the end of us 96, and it, this will be zero, and we'll go back to zero. So here we have this um, 500 hertz, but we can also take advantage of this uh, sampling rates 
and the frequencies and the relationship between this and we can for example instead of taking every element if we take the every second element so we start with zero then we go here then we go here then we go here this means that we are not having 500 hertz anymore but two times this value and that will be 1000 hertz so one kilohertz and here what we're doing is we're multiplying the value here by two so this is the fixed point uh, manipulation let's call it like this we can multiply or we can divide depending on the shift we use in this case we are having multiplication and we are just going through all the elements of the table when it reaches the end it goes back through the beginning but this time we are taking every second element and what we have here is in blue is our sine wave with 500 Hertz amplitude is 1000 but in orange we have uh, 1000 um, Hertz now because we are changing here this index and we are doing this multiplication so we have amplitude going from 0 to 2000 and this way we just uh, use this table this is stored in memory and then we are accessing in runtime so we can listen to first I'll use uh, Librosa to generate the tone of 500 Hertz so we can uh, listen to it so this is using the lookup table when we generated the 500 Hertz here and now the 1 kilohertz generated here using the same table so we just have this table in memory but we are doing this manipulation here and this multiplication and we have so we have higher frequency and louder so how we will do this in C for our processor I have I will have a file that I'll do a header file for the all the sine wave functions so we have this uh, sine wave dot h there I'll define the table length on 96 and I'm copying these values here so I having this array in memory then at some point in the main in this loop where we usually have this this audio so I first I'm just defining this uh, indexes for these two sine waves I want to generate and here we are doing exactly what we did in Python it's now in C so this is the left output like we've seen before and this is the right output and it gets the value so it goes through our table and assigns a value to the output so this is the uh, lookup table method it's very useful it's very uh, easy to implement we have this trade-off so we are using more memory but it's very fast so depending on the situation and the limitations of your system you may choose if you want to use less memory and do some operations that demands more computational power more processing time so it's always a trade-off we need to think about when we are dealing with um, embedded systems